Hi, welcome to Cycling and Forward's weekly update. My name is David Heatley and in this video I'm going to be covering off some up and coming riding events that we're going to be focusing on in the next few months. How a small change in my diet resulted in me losing three kilograms over the Christmas break in as many weeks and some tips for the Scody Three Peaks Challenge. So January is always a crazy month for us. We've got obviously the Bay Crits and then we've got the Australian Nationals and then the Tour Down Under. So we're going down there and we're teaming up with all trails and I'm going to be providing some on-road assistance for their riders and also some running some seminars for them down there. Now in February we've got our Bright Boot Camp. Now this is our training camp that we run twice a year and it's based in Bright. Now the accommodation option for this is now full but we still have eight places available for people that want to book their own accommodation. And of course in March we've got the Scody Three Peak Challenge. Now this is a fantastic event if you haven't done it. We've been focusing a lot on putting together some fantastic training material for it and we also have available on our website the 12 week training program that you can download for free that covers the sub 13 and the sub 10 events. So definitely if you've got the opportunity go up there to our website and download them. Now in April we've got the Grand Fondo Beachworth event. Now this is a brand new event and we've teamed up with the organisers of this to put together a whole heap of training information and materials. Now again there is a there's an eight week training program that you can download for the 83 and the 173 kilometre events. And finally, next week we're going to be releasing the UCI Perth Qualifiers Training Packs. So if you, if you are competing in this event, we're going to be putting together 12 week customised programs for this event. So definitely stay tuned for that, we'll be releasing it in an email to you. So here's your Three Peaks training tip. Now one of the really important things you need to do for this event is to build strength. And the reason for that is that you're going to be climbing after doing 200 kilometres back up to falls. Now this is a nasty climb and everything that everybody says about it is true. Now the first 12 kilometres of that is a fairly steep gradient so you need to be able to develop some really good strength to be able to get up that climb. Now I'm a big fan of functional strength training to be able to develop the strength that you need to do that climb. So what I recommend you do is spend two or three times a week doing exercises that, in, that involve your legs and that use free weights rather than the machines. So just to give you an idea of the results that you can achieve with functional strength training, I recently reviewed my power data. Now in the last couple of weeks after focusing on doing some functional strength training, I noticed that my peak maximum power was 200 watts higher than I've ever posted since I've been riding with power. So now I've been riding with power for three years and in that time I haven't really focused much on the functional strength training. So it was really interesting to see that improvement. So how did a small change in my diet result in me losing three kilograms over the Christmas break in three weeks? Now this wasn't intentional but it was a byproduct of something else that I did with my diet. Now all during summer I've been suffering from hay fever and I've been taking antihistamine tablets and I wondered that if I cut wheat out of my diet I might be able to get rid of it. So what I found is after doing that in two days I wasn't having any hay fever issues. Now all I did was replace bread products, wheat products with brown rice and porridge for my carbohydrate because obviously as a cyclist I still need to fuel my body and what I found was that that also had a side effect and that I dropped weight, three kilograms in three weeks. Now here's another nutritional tip that I pass on to my cyclists that I'm coaching when they're suffering from DOMS or that's a delayed onset muscle soreness. What I recommend is that they take zinc and magnesium. Now usually when you take zinc, magnesium is part of that supplement. So when you take zinc and magnesium, that just helps reduce that soreness that you get after the rides. Now next week's video I'm going to continue on with some more nutritional tips and I'm also going to talk about some hill climbing tips. 